Yeah. All right, what's going on? Welcome to Tectonic Lounge. I'm with Filthy. We got uh, Ben on the Helmswoman uh, spot today. What are you smoking? Um, Archetype. Fuck, I just forgot it. <laughs> 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 Sage advice. That's the biggest intro ever. You just fucking hit you right away. <laughs> 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 All right, so here's the dealio. We are, are, we are live on YouTube. It's struggling. So if you're on YouTube, sorry. Uh, we tried to go to Facebook today, and I have no fucking idea what that's doing. So good luck. We're on Twitch. Come <laughs> yeah, on back to Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is still working just fine. Right. We're going to get it figured out. We're going to get it figured out eventually. We're running three three uh, streams at once, and it can get tricky. Yeah. But as long as Twitch is working, that's all I care about. We got anybody today? I know. Plus, we in the house. Some sound bites in the house. Nice. Some sound bite in the house. Smoking a Leva V. He's on quarantine. Oh. Who's Should we quarantine? quarantine? No, sound bite. Oh. Last I checked, he was on quarantine. I haven't been keeping up in the... You hear this guy? He hasn't been keeping up. I don't know. That's not my job, man. It's, it's not <laughs> my job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I try... It, it's like... It, it's like... Me, when I get off work and I, I talk to sugar tits all the way home, yeah. there's nothing else to talk to. <laughs> talk about on the phone. So if I'm, if I'm sitting there up on Discord all week, there's nothing to talk about. On I'm on the lounge, yeah. <laughs> so... Well, it, it works, though, because you didn't know you were going to be on the lounge today. I didn't. I it didn't was know. supposed to be me and Ben. Yeah, fill me up. That's good. That's good. Today we are drinking the Glenn Levitt. <laughs> Founders Reserve. 1824. Diva watching out for us. Thank you, sir. Can you write TOS if somebody's chatting like that? I don't know if you can. Yeah. Yeah? No, they can get mad at you. They can get mad. Well, we haven't gotten mad yet. <laughs> There's a tree for running land in the outer space, or in outer space, and part of the requirement is terraforming it. I have fixed YouTube. All you YouTubians. YouTube, YouTube is fixed. YouTube is on. Welcome to the lounge. Uh, but how do you... You can't really build a atmosphere around the moon. Can you? No, it'd have no. to be a dome. Yeah, you'd have to... I mean, no, it's a, yeah, it's physically impossible. Not enough gravity. Not enough gravity, yeah. Mars, though, yeah, you could on Mars. Could you? You could be using a laser pointed at Mars. Liberating CO two to satisfy this requirement. Oh, that's dope! Long distance terraforming. I didn't know. Plush, why have you not informed me about that this? Not, oh yeah, where are you at, Plush? We're at the, You're a space guy. Nope, not enough gravity and the lack of magnetic field would strip away anything that's stuck. Yep. Yeah. Solar wind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, outer space tree. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, I see. Okay. I got you. That's one thing I like about our, our guys here. I mean, they know everything about everything. Well, cigar smokers aren't stupid. So. No, exactly. That's that's for sure. I like those damn cigarette smokers. <laughs> <laughs> our nemesis. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> even sugar tits. Sugar tits is the worst offense of that. She'll be like, "Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get a cigarette." I'm like, "No, you're gonna get a cigar." It's a big difference. <laughs> Did you know there's an alien on the bar? Yes, we already introduced him. That's mm -hmm. Gilbert. Gilbert the Gray. Gilbert the Gray. Good friend of the show. Finally showing up. Got a lot of time to think when smoking a cigar. Hell yeah! Oh, hell, he's uh, taking off. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> God, I wish I had a sound effect for him. He wants a he wants a sip. He wants a sip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta move it up. You got it. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going, going, and, and, and sip. <laughs> okay. You can't even see this. We're <laughs> drinking Glen Levet right now. Glen Levet. Founders Reserve. You gotta hold it up a bit. The camera cuts oh. off like right there. Yeah, there you this go. This episode sponsored by not Glen Levet. Not Glen Levet. <laughs> Founders Reserve. You do that just to piss you it piss me off. Oh, it does. Get yours at your local Walmart. At your local Walmart? <laughs> I would be impressed. Actually, it's illegal in Texas. Is it? You well, can't oh, buy liquor yeah, in Texas. Okay, damn. <laughs> Go draft fish. <laughs> he is humping my face. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you guys need to try Captain's Reserve. Uh, finish it at Cognac Cast. 
No. Um, pretty good. Um, I haven't had it yet, but I've heard about it um, in other discords. Now, we do have a Glen Levet that is in a rum barrel. Mm-hmm. So that one's also really good. If you haven't had that, try that one, Devo. <clears throat> yeah. Devo has a really cool thing that I've been looking at. They have whiskeys from your birth year. Oh. Yeah, you can get little tiny samples. So like, you can get like a 1971 sample, and I could get a 95 sample. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for telling everybody just how fucking old I am. <laughs> well, you're wearing a Michigan Tom Brady jersey. <laughs> so. This is a Tom Brady orange, uh, orange Bowl jersey. It's a classic. <laughs> the GOAT. The last good quarterback for Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> that game was a fucking embarrassment. They barely won. Against <laughs> Rutgers. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Triple overtime against Rutgers. Yeah. <laughs> to break a three-game skid. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve of the Caribbean. It's so good, dude. Um, and we, have a, we actually put it in the back of our whiskey so we don't drink it. Yeah. Uh, because that shit is so good. Did they see? Did you guys see the uh, a barrel we had last week? Uh, yeah, the aging did. barrel. Okay. Uh, we ended up putting a. Uh, it's an American-made whiskey, but it's a rye. So we put a rye in an American burned um, oak barrel, the one we showed on the stream, and so far it's smelling pretty good. Yeah. Uh, was 120 proof. Don't want to open it. Oh yeah. No, the special only occasion. Only 120 proof I've had is Knob Creek. So, what about you? I have had Jamaican rum 151 proof. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's the first thing I ever got hammered on. That's, yeah, the yeah. first thing? Yeah. It's fucking all out. Oh, yeah, I was in uh, high school, maybe like, no, I, was, I think it was right after high school. But I mixed it with Orange Sunkiss, which oh, is the worst geez. fucking thing ever. <laughs> and, man, I got it. I don't remember much. I remember drinking it, waking up on a friend's couch, and they drove me home. And <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, Soundbite just finished off a bottle of Screwball. Have you ever had Screwball? Oh, I've never had a Screwball. Screwball? That's what he said. Is that like a screwdriver mixed with an, uh, an eight ball? Yeah. Okay, you just go ahead and <laughs> pop that in there real quick. A little cocaine. <laughs> With a good cocaine. It's an order. God, I can't even that. Enlighten that soundbite. Yeah, please. And uh, enlighten us with a screwball. I'm pretty sure I nailed it. Let's see what he says. Yeah, we're going to wait. We're waiting on you, soundbite. <laughs> yeah. This, we're all waiting. <laughs> this whole show is revolving around you, right? Yeah. So. Oloroso. Uh, I don't know who makes the Oloroso, but it sounds delicious. If you like it, it's probably good. Mm hmm. Peanut butter whiskey. Okay. What? Oh. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, it's it's not bad. That could be really, really good or really, really bad. I've had peanut butter whiskey, but it wasn't called Screwball. Hmm. It was literally just peanut butter whiskey. It sounds gross. It's not bad. It's not bad. It gets rid of a lot of the spice. Yeah. It's all bitter. <laughs> yeah. But well, you want to get into this uh, pros and cons thing? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. get to it. Let me get now, a little ba background here. Yeah, I okay. don't have the picture ready. Oh, you didn't? I ran out of time. Ready. Okay, so I think everybody knows who these girls are, but uh, sometimes everybody knows I'm a plumber, a residential service plumber for the most part, everybody knows. But sometimes my customers will go on a, just a, just nonstop, like this, and I go into a thinking coma because I just blurred them out, you know, just like whatever. So I started thinking about that girl that has the two heads. Yes. You know, wow, and listen, like this, and I was like, man, there's got to be some pros and cons to having two heads. Yeah. So I, I made a list. While I, this lady was talking to me, I made a list in my head of pros and cons for having two heads. So, the first one proves twice as many hats. Exactly. Yeah, this is what I'm talking time. about right yeah. here. Yeah, twice as many hats. So the first uh, first pro I thought of is like, man, if I if I had two heads and I didn't like something, like like a food, like pro like fried okra, yeah, or something, just something horrible, I could be like, here, eat this shit. <laughs> oh, you know, they like fried okra. I don't even care because I'd, I'd be the dominant head. <laughs> You'd be so the dominant there, head. There's got to be a dominant head. You, you think? Yeah, but it's going to the same body. 
Fuck you, fried okra slabs. <laughs> Here's Not another world. I got another pro for you. Uh, if a business goes to hire them, they're hiring two people for the price of one. Yes. That's Depen- a depending on what it is, though, because here's uh, one problem. Uh, I, I, put, I put playing controller video games. Okay, yeah. Because if they're, like, typing, you know, they're, like, a secretary job, and they're, like, typing, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that one head controls each arm. Or so if one, one, I mean, yeah. are you really, like... Just you're never gonna get the words per minute that's required no. to be a secretary. No. No. And you wouldn't be able to do like a manufacturing job. But if you're talking about secretary, you could oh you could technically answer two phones at the same time. Oh shit. So it might be a wash. And you could write at the same time. Yeah, because one of them would definitely have to be left-handed. Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah. They would literally be born left-handed. Yeah. So the um, one of the other the cons is you'd only be able to sleep on your back because you can't be a side sleeper because first you risk really just smothering somebody in the pillow or both of you are going to end up with a cauliflower ear on the inside because mm-hmm. you're going to be sitting there just rubbing each other's ears all night. Yeah. So uh, that's... Good, good uh, one on the cons. Difficult to find shirts. Yeah, every and actually, what about V necks though? I put that under the um, the cons is uh, it's kind of like, all right. So the pro on that would be you only you only get half the clothes. Yeah. The con would be yeah, every shirt would be custom. Yeah. You'd have to have a custom shirt every time. So, so um, yeah, that would suck. Driving would suck. Driving would suck, yeah, because we don't know. I mean, if one person's doing the the arm, then maybe they have control over. We should have got our information on how much control each of them had over what. Yeah, because if one side's controlling the right side of their body, I mean, it's a constant walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, would, it would be perfect timing throughout. They got two different brains, which is impossible, I think. The same thing as the controller. Do, do they only have one spine though? Yeah. And they like, no, no, they have to have two spines coming into it. Like, two spines going like into one. meld into one? This is fucking weird, yeah. This is weird. That's why I started thought of thinking about it. I was like, man, I have got to get this on the lounge. You never have to remember anything because the other head can do that for me. Exactly. That's, a, <laughs> that's a being being the one in control. You're like, you remember how Albert Einstein used to say, if I can write it down, I will never remember it. Because he wrote down everything. Yeah. Well, that would be just like using your brain as like a computer. Your 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 second head. It's just a it's like brain. yeah. And then if you did if she didn't remember anything, you just like headbutt. Bam. <laughs> I told you, bitch. <laughs> Bam. You, Imagine the fights though. <laughs> no, I put I put one con would be watching your sister giving a BJ. <laughs> but after thinking about it, I was like, I also put that as a pro, watching your sister give a BJ. <laughs> you might be into it. So that's kind of a pro and a con both together. Both, both you on ball duty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, I don't know. It's kind of working out. But I'm not jealous. <laughs> but I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous <laughs> one bit. <laughs> because, <laughs> but she's probably, but everybody knows who she is. Is it one person though? It's, it's one person. There's like, I, pu- I pulled up the picture and it came up with like four or five different versions. Versions of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is the most popular one. She's been on all the TV shows and yeah, you know, Maury Povich and all that. I've never heard of her until til- you just mentioned her. No shit. Yeah, oh. never heard of it. Okay. Would each of them get a social security card? Oh, that is see, great that's question. what I'm talking about, Fuck, man. So, is it two people or is it one? Hold on, I got Because then you got to think about education. How do you prevent cheating if they have two heads? Yeah, two brains, two yeah, heads. Yeah, they'd be Stafford level. So, this girl is wearing me out. <laughs> she's high maintenance. You got to do research on she, her. She's fucking exhausting. She probably works at fucking McDonald's. Yeah, because you can do that. You can build a cheeseburger with one hand. You can, yeah. And the other one can be like taking the McNuggets out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Or have the other half the burger ready. Yeah. Tag teaming. Yeah. There's definitely ways. You have one body to share with two husbands and wife. Yeah, that's a, another good question. It's like you have to find a guy that's really open-minded in this situation. Yeah. And you'd have to hope that the twin sister is open-minded, too. You'd have to be, though. I mean, we're all in search of that open-minded twin sister, just not this <laughs> way. Yeah. 
<laughs> what if one of them is an anti-masker? No. Just one. Just one. <laughs> yeah. Can we just not do the COVID thing for one day? <laughs> yeah, no COVID. No, no COVID. COVID. No politics. No, no politics. COVID. Get the fuck out. And then COVID is all politics. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, after thinking about all this like this, I came back to my customer, and she was still yapping about her cats. So, <laughs> so I, I started listening. But yeah, I do get off onto some. Some of my customers, man, they talk so much that I just go off into space just like... I know, I just I got my head bobbing on, you know, just naturally. Just nat- yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cheering mm-hmm. around. Keep going. Yeah. Yep. Keep yeah. it going. All right. Got all fucking day, bitch. <laughs> I guess. That's what you do when you work retail. Yeah. But it's times 1,000 because they come to you. It's not like you want it. He has to go to them. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys come up with any more pros and cons, uh, hit, hit us up in Discord. We'll share them next week. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely hit them up in Discord. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our community scar of the week. And bam. Bam. Um, it yep. is <laughs> Mr. Slip from the Discord. If you guys haven't talked to him, he works at a Canadian cigar shop, and he's smoking a Carilio, no. um, which I believe is Cuban, because they get Cuban in Canada. Um, pretty cool stick, uh, really cool guy to talk to. If you want to talk about uh, cigars with him, he'll go all day with you. I remember the first day he joined in the lounge, we literally, me, Thrak, and a couple other guys talked to him for like two hours. That's cool. It was pretty cool. So, really cool guy, really sick uh, cigar. Um, yeah, that's it. You want to add anything? No, it's, it's cool to have those guys um, with, our, with our platform because we get to talk to people all over the world. Yeah. Bring so much different insight. Mm-hmm. Um, we've really learned how shitty the USA really is from our out of country guests. Sort of. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> not, not getting into politics. Like, not getting right. into politics <laughs> here, but <laughs> yes. You know what I thought was really funny? Uh, great cigar, though. Glad to have you. Um, yesterday, Plush posted a picture of a giant fire that happened uh, kind of where by he lives. Mm-hmm. And it was a scrapyard that caught on fire. Now, the reason why I thought this whole thing was funny, Plush, if you're here, I hope you enjoy this. Um, He was like, man, this is crazy. And then people started talking about how toxic it is because of all the scrap metal and all this stuff. And Plush was like, oh, yeah, here's a picture from Wales. You can see it all over here. Luckily, I'm across the river. Fuck those guys. (laughs) (laughs) The river. Yeah, literally, he was just like, yeah, that sucks for them. Takes a picture from Wales. Like, yeah, that's a bummer, man. And fucking goes on his day. I'm like, all right, okay. No wonder your prince and princess left. (laughs) (laughs) Were they the prince and prince of Wales? The ones that came over to the United States and... I think he said Liverpool. It happened in Liverpool. Okay, no, I was talking about the prince of Wales and the prince of Wales. Or the Duchess, or whatever the fuck they call They're shit so confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. Never mind, I didn't even Yeah, um, but no, it, it was really funny because it was another thing where it was like, brought up another conversation where he was like, yeah, I just took a picture from Wales, and the fire was happening in Liverpool. And I was like, man, that took him like literally 15 minutes to go to Wales. If we wanted to go to Indiana, it would be 15 hours. Yeah. (laughs) But if we wanted to go to Tennessee, it's 15 hours. Yet the the states are technically the the, the same. Yeah, they're farther away. what, what What I like about the U.S., though, is if we travel 15 hours one way, we're still speaking English all the way through. True. Yeah. So there you go. Enjoy giving all your money to the royal family, bitches. And the, the difference is, nothing. Indiana has a straight shot, but we're going across Tennessee to Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Which, that it's just, the distances are crazy. It just shocks me every time they post something about the UK, how close everything is. I'm just like, Jesus. Yeah. It'd be nice, but at the same time, it kind of sucks ass. <laughs> you have one, oh, that's, nobody said anything in a while. Um, I, I, I think I think YouTube is up. I haven't gotten an official... Um, I haven't gotten anything from official. outside of the room. Here. Yeah, uh, let me check that chat. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to somebody to check on it because it I just, told uh, Legendary Flea to get on there, but yeah, I'm on here right now. We so, are packed in here, UK. Yeah, yeah, you are packed. Uh, yeah, we got Keith in the chat. How's it going, man? Welcome. Glad YouTube's working. Uh, hopefully, it's working. It's not working on my end, at least. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. I cool, think cool. you guys are packed in in the UK just because there's so many freaking soccer stadiums. <laughs> Did you see we got a new soccer team? Hmm. We got, um, they started the Women's Professional League. So they're called the Houston Dash. Well, they've been around. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they've been around for like three or four years. They just hit the radar. So. <laughs> 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 we live about a half a mile or a half hour from the stadium. So, yeah, they finally made it all the way up here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 On the way of uh, a massive 12 miles to Humble. <laughs> Evan, you have a good point there. Did you guys ever do the Spooktober 2020 event? Uh, yes. Uh, Plush was kind of in charge of that. I don't know who won. Um, so I'll get a hold of Plush and see who won that. He was here earlier. Plush? He must fell asleep, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he probably did. I'll, I'll get a hold of Plush and see see what's going on with that, because we had a lot of people posting there. Very past his bedtime for a college student. But that's two Cubans he could have won, so definitely, I'll, I'll definitely make sure and check. I know Evan would love some Cuban action. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get away from those Tavax. <laughs> so those Cuban can join twin action. It's not a bad cigar, <laughs> I'm just giving it shit, you know. <laughs> If you guys are in uh, Texas, though, they have a new cigar that uh, Sugar Tits has been smoking and loves, like, tremendously. And it's called Black Lips Cigar Company. And they make a literal, no joke, Black Lips Black Cherry infused cigar. That thing is explosive. Um, If you have a groovy blue and a Black uh, Lips Black Cherry next to you, you literally cannot smell your cigar that you're smoking. (laughs) Even even to the point that when somebody walked through the front door at our house, which we're in the backyard, they could smell it up front. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. They are really really good, but like I said, what you told me earlier, if you smoke this, just take one puff off of it, you will lose the taste of your cigar. Yeah, yeah. And I did that, I was like, yep, that's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You just taste cherry. Yeah, it's overpowering. But they're really good. If that's all you're going to smoke, that's, shoot, a really good place to start. Yeah. The first time I tried the black cherry one was uh, when I was trying my second Sacred Scales. And I was so bummed because I literally mouthful of cherry, sacred scales completely gone. It was just like I was smoking cherries. No. <laughs> All right, you guys want to get to top 25? Let's do top 25. All right, so this week, um, top 25 cigars for 2020. Uh, first one on the list here is the Camacho Liberty 2020. Uh, this one is number 17. Oh, okay. Number 17 on the list, uh, this fantastic cigar. Um, I have I have tried it, I haven't smoked a full stick. Thrack is actually the only one that has smoked a full stick. Um, very hard to find and super expensive. Hmm. They're like $17. Okay. But the boxes are kick ass. Why is the label in German? Uh, because this picture is from Germany. Is it? Yeah. Is a German Nicaraguan cigar. I didn't even notice that until you said that. Yeah, on the bottom, the German, yeah. you will get cancer, is in German. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> they speak English in Germany. <laughs> so, Anyways. Even if you don't smoke it, we will give you cancer. <laughs> uh, Camacho is Thrax, like, favorite cigar company. And it's definitely, I know why. To give you guys an idea, if you guys have smoked uh, any of the other Liberty Camachos, the 2005 to, you know, the 2020, they all taste kind of the same. Um, now, the Camacho Diploma, or Diploma is an offshoot of that. Slightly different bl- uh, blend, but the exact same. No, so you smoked a Diploma, yeah. several of them, yeah. you get an idea of what that Liberty Camacho tastes like. No. Um, let's see, we're going to number Good five. Says, luckily, only Germans get cancer. Wrong. Luckily. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, wrong. <laughs> we just don't have labels on our cigar boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know where that comes from. We're unsure. <laughs> could be the Mio. It could be the Mio. <laughs> or the Glen Levet. <laughs> or the Glen Levet. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> it's definitely not the cigars. <laughs> Okay, next one. I guess it's going to be the Rocky Patel LB1. Rocky Patel LB1, sorry. <laughs> I had to get a cigar and whiskey involved there. And I need a drink now. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. So take it away. Go okay, so um, this cigar 
is uh, what number 16 on our uh, cigars list. Uh, very good stick. Every, everything in the top 25 is definitely a worthy cigar. Yeah, it's a, yeah, definitely. it's it's excellent. So this one here uses a, a Nicaraguan um, binder and filler, um, but the wrapper is a mixture of different curing processes. Um, so it is a Honduran wrapper, um, but they also use a Nicaraguan. You have to make sure you get the right series. But the LB1 should be a Nicopiro, but they have a Honduran one. Gotcha. So make and, sure. You and if you don't understand what filler and wrapper and all that stuff is, we made a couple of videos for beginner cigar smokers. Um, it's going to be dropping this Thursday. Yeah, if not Monday. If not Monday. Yeah. Okay, are we close? Yeah, no, it's, okay, it's almost close. ready to go. Um, all I have to do is show you guys how to cut a cigar, and it's going to be up Monday. Yeah, so if you're new to the cigar world or want to get into it, check out our videos real soon here on uh, YouTube. Uh, we got the first two of the series done, and it's uh, really good as far yeah. as uh, informational videos. I like it. Not a lot of cuts, too. That's what uh, mm -hmm. I actually like. There's like two or three cuts in there that you can notice, but... It, overall, it's really informative, um, and it's going to be a 10-part series. Okay. I was talking to a few people in Discord, like Bozotron. He um, he thought there was only going to be like two videos. No, and I was yeah, like, no, no dude. Like, yeah. No, we're, we're going to go from beginner. By the time you watch all of our videos, you're going to be a master. At you're least a very advanced cigar. cigar smoker. You're going to be yeah. taking your shirt off and rolling your own cigars. Yeah. As soon as you watch the 10 part video, you'll start understanding what we're talking about and how we develop this top 25 list. Uh, Rocky Tell LB1 is also our cigar of the month. So next weekend on Sunday, um, we're going to be giving away this cigar to a lucky viewer on either YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. Um, but you have to be followed, subbed, or liked the Facebook page. So just a heads up, uh, make sure you get involved. Uh, next one on the list, number 16, Cigar Break. Cigar Break. Is the Rocky Patel number six. Um, very good cigar. Actually, you have smoked this one. Yes. What do you think of this guy? This, uh, man, the Rocky Patel, you can't go wrong. Um, like I said, with, and then with the top 25, you can't go wrong. The very good cigar. Um, it's got the... It's got very good notes. It's not like super overpowering mm -hmm. by that, but you can still get all the notes all the way throughout. It's a really good feel for a cigar. Yeah, it is a very good feel. Um, there's always a nice cut of oil on it too. Yeah. Um, that's just how the number six rolls. Uh, but he did make a good point. Rocky Mattel doesn't make a bad cigar. Um, even if you can find some of those old Catch-22 Rocky Patels or the Edge Rocky Patels, they all taste very nice. Uh, you won't get one under an 89 as far as a tectonic scale. Um, the number six, though, uh, one thing, though, is this is a late 2019, so it might be difficult to find. Um, you'll just have to check your tobacconist, try multiple stores, so on and so on. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for the top 25 cigars so, for this week. For this week. Yeah. Uh, stay, or tune in next week where we keep getting down to number one. Yeah. Number one is going to be uh, really nice. Uh, that one will be happening right before Christmas. So. Not one of the best. Sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> this, <laughs> we can get away with that, right? Yeah. I was going to say, this, this episode, this part of this episode is not sponsored by Glenn the Vet. Yeah, you can get away with that. What are they going to do? Founders Reserve. Yeah, what are we going to do? You can't gonna drink do? our whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. Fuck, Fuck you, Glenn the Vet. <laughs> <laughs> but I love your scotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Uh, I'm just preparing for the argument. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, uh, he was like, hey, you want to do some whiskey on the last day? I'm like, yeah, sure. We should do the monkey shoulder. He's like, no, we're doing Glen Levitt. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yes, I don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. Kind of back on the scotch thing after we went to the Ren Fest last week. Yeah. Renaissance Festival was awesome. If you, uh, we did a little in-depth for you. <laughs> And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> 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 
like a bad employee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Red's Festival was awesome, but we did a scotch tasting there. Or, uh, they had a scotch tasting, and we went in and got some um, some really good scotch. Yeah, so yeah. we did, uh, it was called Fetage Field, I believe that's what it was called. And we apparently can't get that in the United States. It was a four hundred dollar bottle, mm. and uh, it was super good. Really spicy, though. Yeah, it was spicy. It, it was, was very spicy. It was Twelve dollars a shot, but when you go to those places, you expect to spend. Yeah, too much for I was. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, we got some hand rolled cigars there that were twenty bucks a pop. They're probably worth six. Yeah, but yeah. still, we were smoking a cigar with a bunch of people smoking cigars at the Red Festival. Yeah, that, it was great. It was yeah. awesome. It was yeah. super yeah. good. <laughs> Not one nice person day. complained. You no, know, no, nothing. No. It was awesome. Yeah, perfect time. But next, yeah, the, next year we're dressing up. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So tune in next year when we have our pictures from the Ren Fest. I know uh, Ben was going to go as the Witcher no. next year. Pretty cool. That's we awesome. saw a couple of Witcher ones there, but uh, they had exact, they had small replicas, then they had large replicas oh. there of his swords from the actual game and TV show. Okay. It was really cool, but they were $150 a pop. Yeah. 200. So, 200. Yeah. 200, yeah. I, see, nice. I, was, I was shopping for Sugar Tits has a birthday coming up this Thursday. So get on the Discord wish her a happy birthday. As well as Thrag. Don't forget about Yeah, that. and Thrag does too. That's right. Yeah. yeah. This is what, the 29th? 20, 28th. 28th. Yeah. yeah. So that we, we've lately been celebrating them on the same day. Um, but I was, I was certain, I was, what was it? I seen oh I seen a um a Joker statue yesterday. Oh yeah. At the game gym. Man, they wanted three hundred dollars, but it was awesome. You know, it was like it was like a combination of all the Jokers together. Well they also yeah. did uh they you showed me the picture of Baby Yoda. Oh they had a life size baby Yoda too. Which was awesome. Yeah, but it was like three hundred and seventy bucks or something That's like ridiculous. that. Man, I can't I, can't, I couldn't see myself spending money on that, but... The, uh, like, there's yeah. a place, Eden Games, mm -hmm. which Eden Games, if you're watching, I love your shop. They have a life-size, like, Cthulhu head up there, and it hangs from the ceiling. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was 1200 bucks. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. but the sad thing is, I was doing D&D &D research for my D&D &D campaign, and I, they have a celebrity D&D &D. Uh, session that they post sometimes on YouTube. Hmm. It's got like everybody, like the CEO of Warner Bros. and like all this stuff um, that go to this guy's house and play. He has two of those hanging above this table. Oh, nice! Huge Cthulhu heads <laughs> hanging over his table. That's awesome. He has a specific DM chair that's like straight up like from a castle. It's like that's a awesome. Awesome chair. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, holy shit. shit! If I had money to just build a D and D room, fucking yeah. it, I would do it. Evan, Evan's talking about dressing up. Uh, I was thinking about putting on my Santa costume and sitting on my roof, uh, front roof, and waving. Oh, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Give us a little video of that. That'd be sweet. That would be cool. We'll put it right here in the lounge. Yeah, we'll show it off, definitely. Which I finally got. Um, what, what, how far are we into this? When did we smoke the Woody? Do you remember, Ben? Oh, jeez. That was like eight, nine months ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I finally got... Uh, I hadn't even moved here yet. <laughs> What's his oh, name? Might be fine. I can't Nikolai. remember his name. Yeah, what? Nikolai. Nikolai. I finally got Nikolai's video of him transporting the Woody in his truck. I still have his oh, no. Yeah, nine months. I finally got it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know where it went. I think Micah took it off our DMs for some reason. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, I need to get that video again because that was funny. He literally had a crane driving drop it into the truck, and then transport it. <laughs> That's awesome. I have no idea if he's Oh, I remember it. seeing that. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Has he gotten his title? His role? His role? In the Discord? Professional. Oh, shit. Yeah. I need to give that to him. I'll do that. Professional. Today. Yeah. He, did, he said he never, I never sent it. So he never sent it. Who did? Just showed it, uh, Thrax. Oh, it yeah. Just showed it on his phone. Oh, right, Thrax, send it to everybody, man. I want to show it on the lounge. Yeah. Oh, I really do. It was so cool. I don't know what, yeah. And the Woody, uh, Micah smoked the Earthrack. He smoked the Woody, and it took about six. The, the video was like six hours long. No, the live stream was nine hours and forty eight minutes. And I, it still didn't get through the whole thing. Yeah, no, he still had five inches left. We yeah. we started on a lounge, and we transferred over to video games and a video camera straight on Thrax <laughs> for him to smoke his Woody. It's too long to send anywhere, so we have that email or something. Yeah, like Google Drive it and. We'll, we'll get it. We'll figure it out. We'll get it. Over. Yeah. But yeah, that thing is crazy. <laughs> we need to try um, Oscar Valadez's Long Boy. Uh, he came out with another one. 
which the Woody's made by Oscar Valdez does too, but um, we made another long boy, and he made another long boy that wasn't quite as long. It's like 19 inches. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully it tastes better. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem with those is yeah, you, it's not good to taste. It's good. all <laughs> clippings from the ground and whatever leaves they have left yeah. over. That's really, to make a 19 inch cigar, so it's like how it's like how um, restaurants make their soup. They just grab everything out of the bottom of the dishwasher <laughs> and just pour it in, put some water, and boil it. You know what's uh, funny about that? I was watching a show called Flavor Origins. They came out with season three, so I figured I'd watch season one. Um, it's that same show where they learned how to make that cheese casserole. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, but further down they go to China, and this guy's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna make a new soup for our noodles this week." And he literally went into his pantry and started grabbing shit and putting it in. Like, shit didn't even make sense. He, he put brown sugar with shrimp. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. and I don't know. I, I couldn't try Did it. they try it and was like, this is a banger? Or... See, the thing is, they sell so much of it, I bet you those people didn't even know. Probably not. They change it every week. Well, the thing is, if, if you go to a favorite restaurant or a, a restaurant with good reviews, you're expecting everything to be good. Yeah. So if you're expecting everything to be good, you're going in there with a positive attitude. Exactly. You're like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, exactly. And they're just laughing at you in the, in the yeah. kitchen. Like, really? We put fucking brown cinnamon and shrimp in this bitch. Well, we can feed you guys anything. Yeah. You know what? Next week, we'll put some bad in it. I, I say, try try stuff on the God homeless first. If the, if the homeless like it, then <laughs> go ahead and serve it. Because <laughs> if the homeless won't eat it, then ain't nobody eating it. There was a funny picture on Twitter that kind of blew up in my feed. It was this guy. He was dressed up in like some like kind of retro steampunky style, and he was from Japan. You could tell because the skyline. And everybody was like, man, this guy's awesome. I wonder if he's doing a cosplay. And someone chimed in. He's like, no, this is just a homeless guy in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, he looks homeless, if you were to put it that way. Right. <laughs> That's all it is. They just like samurais and shit. <laughs> well, the difference is the homeless people in Japan can't have garbage. And shit, because that's like their law. You can't just have garbage on their streets or you get arrested. Yeah. So he was just a homeless man with nothing. That's one thing. I mean, we have a, a large homeless population. I do feel sorry for people like that. But one thing you never see is Asians and um, uh, Mexican homeless people. Because Mexican. they're, they're I, th I think they're, they're, they really take care of their own people. It's, it's a family oriented yeah. culture. So. Yeah, both of them are family oriented. The moon day is so freaking rude. Yeah. X's, is moon, X's moon day is oh, always yeah. really Who's smoking good. the X's? Ranch. Oh, yeah. Nice. So nice. Good. Yeah. I uh, unfortunately smoked both of my X's moon days. Yeah. I saw one left after this. Yeah. I, I literally, I was I smoked the one. I was like, man, it's so fucking good. I'm going to have another one. <laughs> That the H up in 175. I smoked mine the other day. That thing is so hard to smoke. That was really good. One. Yeah, it's so good. What to watch next week? Oh, what to watch? Oh, Saturday night. Okay. Mike Tyson's back. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Mike Tyson's back. I wish we had that picture up there because somebody posted a picture on Facebook, I believe, the other day. And it was a picture of him from when he first started in his career or, you know, the first couple years of his career. And compared to now, man, he looks he, he looks, looks more easy. dangerous now. Yeah, he does. He looks more dangerous now than he did 30 years ago or whatever it is. I'll try and get it. You know, I was wondering uh, about that, though, because a lot of fighters, or when you age, your muscle density kind of goes down. Yeah. So it might not be that big of a difference. Right. Because even it if... Might, it might not. He just looks, he looks beefier. It could be the yeah. picture itself, but he's definitely not... Oh, uh, in bad shape. <laughs> no, yeah, no. He, he looks like he's not ready to go. Yeah, no. And he's, uh, he's fighting Roy Jones Jr., which I believe was one of his losses that he's trying to revenge. Mm. You know, and, you know, get some I mean, revenge on. weightlifting and muscle building have come so far since then, though, yeah. so it could be a completely different ball game. You never yeah. know. But it's a, it's a... But what about the other guy, though? It's, it's pay-per-view. Man, nobody has said anything yeah. about <laughs> this guy. I, I looked around. It's like, no, no pictures. No, nothing. Uh, it, he's going to come out with a gray beard and fucking yeah, he's gonna, yeah. 150 pounds. But it, it does remind me because George Foreman did this. 
Um, it was quite a while ago, but he took a long time off. Mm. And somebody talked him into coming out of retirement and coming back. And he actually kicked ass. Mm. He came back and actually did like four or five fights. That's cool. And, yeah, he was just stomping, you know, stomping these young kids. That would be sweet. I don't think Mike Tyson really needs the uh, spotlight because he does a lot of movies yeah, and right. commercials. But yeah. it still will be good for him. He's going to get a huge payday. Now, this, uh, this fight is on pay-per-view uh, Saturday night, the 28th, whatever. I think that's Saturday night. But um, it, it's going to be fun. We're going to get it. We're going to watch it. Uh, yeah. So everybody watch it out there so we can uh, get some opinions on the fight itself. And then uh, watching next week, uh, just a heads up, Mandalorian doesn't come out on Friday. It comes out on Thursday. No, Wednesday. Or Wednesday, technically. It's late. Yeah. 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 But technically, you can watch it on Disney+. Plus. Um, the earliest you can watch it probably is Wednesday at 10. If not, Thursday, you're good to go. Yeah, Thursday. Um, So you don't have to wait. You get a day early, which last episode was awesome. So Gilbert made a move to the middle. Gilbert. He's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. He, he's in. I was going to turn him into Mike Tyson, but I'll make it a source. <laughs> we need to make him a UFO. Ooh, yes. Circuit. Yeah, just like something that flies around. Yeah. It's, but um, I'm trying to think what else comes out. Uh... We there watched. is a UFC championship fight this weekend, but it's not very good. There, there was one on the 21st, which was okay from what I heard. Yeah. So if anybody watched that, um, we, we do watch a lot of UFC, but I'm not going to pay for average UFC. Yeah. So they have oh, too much free stuff. Congrats to uh, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Got, uh, Secured his seventh. Pretty much uh, became the GOAT. The GOAT, yeah. The GOAT in my time in F1 racing. Um, He's still so young. Yeah, so young. And uh, you, you really can't argue now. There's a lot of people that were, up until this point, they're like, you know, he's... You know, a flash in the pan, or kind of like Vettel. Yeah. You know, Vettel was was awesome for like three seasons, yep. and then you know, kind of uh, wavered a little bit. But he's not wavering at all. No. And he did it in the rain. I don't think Vettel is wavering. I think he still has some left in him. He's always up there. I just think he's not on the right team. I feel like him and Ferrari don't work. Yeah. I don't know. Ferrari's a weird beast. Oh, there's the Mike Tyson now and then. Holy shit, yeah. Yeah. Is I mean, he going to rock that beard? <laughs> he might. <laughs> but you can tell, though, like the muscle density I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Because that's just, he's like kind of floatier now. Everything's lower. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, he can, I mean, yeah, it's, it, that comes with the age. So we'll see when he actually fights to see if he has the speed still. Yeah. The speed, and uh, he had a really great jab that actually knocked people out. Yeah. So we'll see if... Uh, that jab is actually still there, and um, see if he's accurate. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I'm gonna. Say. If he's accurate and everything like that, just see where he's at. Mm. You know, because this could be a one-time, one-and-done type thing, just for a cash, yeah, a cash drop, or is it something he's getting back into and actually going to challenge for a belt? So yeah, that would be interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if he goes for a belt, there might be some issues. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, yeah. It's kind of like McGregor and Mayweather, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hoping it's not some bullshit yeah, like that. Yeah, it probably yeah. is, though. <laughs> but, uh, if I had to, uh, I'm just going to take a guess. Based on what I've seen and basically everybody's hyping up Tyson's side, I don't think he's going to lose the fight. You don't think so? No. You I know what? He's, if he's you're going to go Tyson, I'll go I'm, for the other guy. Yeah, all right. You go with Roy Jones. I'll, I'll go, go with Tyson. Roy Jones. And I'm going with a second-round knockout here. I don't know what Roy Jones looks like or how he's doing, but I, I'm going to put some money into Roy Jones. I will get that as well. Yeah, let's get that real quick. While you're getting that, let's go ahead and answer FTMO. Um, you, you betting going? Uh, I'll end it. Okay. Um, so today's FTMO, what would you answer? I I, I went Florida, Florida. yeah. Florida. I think it's Florida. Um, Evan crazy. also went Florida. Yeah. Um, um, I think somebody else, I think uh, Sugar Tits went Florida. Okay. Uh, or Mean went Florida. Kayla went Florida. Um, Helms Woman, what, what state do you want? I went with Florida. 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 Everybody's going Florida. It, it okay. seems like a Florida thing because it's crazy as fuck. And that, <laughs> for someone to bring that to the. This Florida. guy actually won his claim back in 1930. No, no shit. Yeah, he won his claim. What are the courts doing back in 1930? Here's the dealio. When NASA took power, or they started, you know, becoming a thing, he was no longer around to claim it. So they just got it back from him. Oh. And they started making the treaty and stuff like that. 
with the, the nations and stuff. But this guy is from Georgia. Oh. Yeah. Close. <laughs> really close. Close. <laughs> he could have lived in Florida and then yeah, moved, moved to Georgia. To Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked to see where this guy was born. Maybe, where is his history? Maybe, maybe he was living in Georgia and it's like, man, if I make a claim, I've at least got to go down to Florida <laughs> and make this claim. I think I'm gonna, I have to retire in Florida now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so Evan, uh, you lost your 1,000 points. God damn. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FTMO is hard now, man. FTMO, yeah, we, we kind of revamped it and kind of made it to where it's actually a challenge. Uh, very, so, it's yeah. very much a challenge. Yeah. Resolution. All right. Oh, oh, oh shit. Tyson. 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 God, that was like a 5k video, like big <laughs> <Okay. laughs> We cannot move it over. Here we yeah, go. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Roy Jones. Yeah, I mean, he's in pretty good shape. Oh, dude, I love his gloves, though. Oh, no, those aren't gloves. Never mind. His pants. Last fight was in February <laughs> yeah. 2018 against 2005. Well, so he's a fun. Captain Hook. 75 fights. Wow. Well, this, is, this might be a barn burner, man. This is going to be a close this one. This is going to be a close one. He looks ripped. Not as ripped as Tyson, though. What is no contest? Not no contest means um, the, the, the one that he bit of Evander Holyfield's ear off. That was considered a no contest because there was no winner. Hmm. They just said they just DQ'd Tyson, and that doesn't count as a win or a loss. Okay. But 50, uh, 50 wins, 44 knockouts, compared to 66 wins, 47 knockouts. But Jones has some stamina. They both have the, they had the stamina, anyways. But uh, they're, they're both in their 50s. They're both older than me. What, did it say he lost so, yeah. last fight in 19? Uh, you want me to put it back up? No, it, it's just... No, his last up. fight was 2018. Just, oh, 2018. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Roy Jones has really never stopped, stopped fighting. fighting yeah. yeah, and Tyson took 15, 16 years off. Wow. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a good one. Um, let's go ahead. Let's talk about our cigars today. That way, if you guys want to get them, you can. Um, you smoke the Sage of Advice. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, Sage of Advice. I've had several of these. Um, very good. Our yeah. guy is a very good cigar. Yeah. So... Uh, me and Micah were talking about that the other night, and uh, Archetype doesn't make a bad cigar. They're all about 90s. Um, now, I had the Cloaks not as good as most, and the Sage, in my opinion, is not as good as most. Right, archetypes. yeah. No, these are definitely... Um, Bottom of the barrel Archetypes. Yeah. But when you're talking about Archetypes, it's still top range. Yeah. Um, now, it's super good. I would probably put this one at probably dead set of 90. How about yours? Yeah, I'll, I'll go 89, 90. Probably 89, 89 somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, I put my Sage Advice on 89 as well. Yeah. The one I have. No, I've definitely had better, but and for uh, just a smoke. Yeah. Just, I don't even want to call it an everyday smoke. Just a smoke. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight's lounge. Um, you can catch us next Sunday for the giveaway of the Rock Patel LB1. Um, we'll see you guys then, and hopefully we have Facebook working. All right, guys, <laughs> keep it smoky. Thank have a good you. one. Bye.